Hello everyone, today we are going to make our enemies fall apart as they die. I have a clown multiple sprite sheet in my art folder. In this sprite sheet, besides clown animation frames, I have clown's body parts images. Its head, body, leg and hand. Let's put all of them to our scene and add some components to them. First, we change the order in layer option to 10, so these body parts will be rendered in front of everything on the screen. Then we add a rigid body 2D component and change its gravity scale to 2, so each part falls a bit faster. Then we did a script that adds some force to our body parts to let them fly in different directions when enemy explodes. I call it add force and open in mana develop. Here we need some variables. It is rigid body 2D, float direction X and direction Y, and float torque that adds some rotation to rigid body. In start method we pass a random values to this variable so each body part behaves separately. You also can make these variables to be public so you will be able to change them in the inspector. Initialize our rigid body variable. And add a force and torque to it. This script is done. Save it and add this script to each body part game object. Rename these game objects with corresponding names. Head will be clown head, body will be clown body and so on. Then we need to make a prefabs of these game objects by dragging each of them to prefab folder. And now we can delete them from hierarchy. Now clown script should be modified. Open it in mana develop and add public game objects for head, body, leg and hand. and instantiate each of them right in the moment when enemy dies and blood splash sprinkles. Ok. Last thing is to place body part prefabs to corresponding slots in enemy clown scripts component. Head to head, body to body, leg to leg, and hand to hand. That's it. Now let's hit play and see what we've got. Beautiful. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.